This clip is brought to you by BattleOnline.com. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a lot of scenes that I was supposed to do. The laundry scene when they had the big fight, you know, on the yard when they had the big fight. A lot of scenes. I, I still had my little cameos in there. Damn. I had a little, one little talking scene when I was on the basketball court. But it was me talking without them seeing me, you know, just telling, uh, clean clean up the, the, the handlers business out there on the court. It, it was nice. It was fun. Yeah, it definitely ill movie and stuff as well. It's funny that you mentioned that guy, Nate, who's in, uh, obviously, Boys in the Hood. And, you know, another big star in that was DeAndre Bonds, who played um, the guy who got, you know, you know, put, turned into a punk basically by the yeah. The sex team. Hey, hey, that little guy there, man. Let me tell you, he came on the movie set and he was shot. He had just got shot in the leg. He had a bullet had just went straight through his leg, and he still came on the set like that. Mm. So that that, that that happened to him in California somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, but he came on the movie set shot, and I said, man, we have all kinds of people <laughs> coming to this place, man. It's that was crazy. crazy. He did an interview on DJ Vlad years later where he said, you know, doing that seed really traumatized him and he felt um, like it took him to a dark place kind of spiritually and stuff like that. Check this out. I saw that. P asked me to play that role. I asked P, was he out of his fucking mind? For real? He was <laughs> in his fucking mind asking me to play that role. You know, play that role being a punk in the move. I said, man, you losing your mind, man. I asked me some shit like that. But well, I guess he was just joking because everybody started laughing, but I didn't find that shit funny. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I didn't find that shit funny at all. Because for one thing, if I'd have did that, regardless whether it was Hollywood or not, I still got to go back to the hood. Mm. I wasn't about to have them playing with me like that in the hood, talking about, you know what I'm saying, what I did in the movie, who I, could I give them some head and all that kind of shit. I wasn't about to be, be, be clowning around with nobody like that, man. So it's just it's certain things I won't do. I don't care how much money is involved. I won't do it. So I know how he feel. I know how he feel playing that role, and then having to having to look at that in, on the screen and have people to the the the, the, the kind of pick at him about that because that's what people do. You know, they can make you famous and they can bring you down. <laughs> no. I mean, so, no, no disrespect to DeAndre. I know what you mean. And um, the thing is, oh, yeah. we, we was, I was having this conversation with somebody the other day. We were speaking about the movie as a fact, and we were saying that. I think prior to that, he was in the wood and um, he played a character called Stacy. who kind of had like a street essence, but after his role in that, it took a long time for him to really kind of build himself back up now where I think he's in, you know, one of those main shows and stuff now. He's doing some good stuff, but um, I think it really put a dent in his character image because after seeing what he was subjected to in the movie, even though, as you said, it was acting and it's a portrayal, it was, you know, something people are going to remember it. Um, you know, they kind of see. They always remember that. Remember that. And, 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 and that's ammunition for them to mess with you about when you when you out there and you call yourself trying to play games, you know, the street games, somebody hit you with that high track. And mm -hmm. whether, whether it's a movie or not, that's the ammunition. And I, I, I like I said, the little cat, cool, I like him. Yeah. Me and him was on the set. You know, we, we hung out, we talked a lot, we joked a lot. He a cool little dude, bro, believe it or not. He really is a nice little guy. Man, but seen. there's certain roles I wouldn't play. That's just like uh, the other guy, Jamal, in Revenge of the Nerds. When he played gay in Revenge of the Nerds, he had to deal with that for a long time. Mm -hmm. You know, we played basketball with that cat. That cat ain't nothing like the character he played in Revenge of the Nerds. He looked like he a dangerous little cat, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Peace, family. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and check us out on BoutTheOnline.com. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook for exclusive playlists and social media for all different types of segments and content.